Good evening to all the parents and guardians. I, Araya Vastani, and I, Abraham Jacob, will be your hosts for tonight. It is a pleasure to have all of you here for the culmination of the hard work of our music teachers and students. Different people in history have shown us how dreams can, can and, and do become a reality. And this Interhouse Symphony and Rock Band competition has provided every performer a platform to explore their passion for music and showcase their talents. I can assure you that this program shall be full of exuberance and excitement and will create some beautiful memories for all of us. Without further ado, I would like to introduce to all of you the honorable judges for today's competition. Mr. Eric Renato. He has had more than 20 years of experience and involvement in the Western music and has specialized in guitars. Sir has 13 years of experience in teaching music as a guitar teacher, handling students from the early learning stage to college students nationally and internationally. He is a registered associate member of the Registry of Guitars Tutors at the London College of Music. Our next judge, Mr. Ivan Enos, is from Kunur in the Nilgiri Hills of South India and hails from a family of great musicians and teachers. He equips children with the skills to take international music exams under the Associated Board of the Royal School of Music, ABRSM, London, the Trinity College of Music, London, and the London College of Music, LCM. He teaches the piano, guitar, violin, viola, cello, double bass, clarinet, saxophone, trumpet, euphonium, and drums at his music school. He has directed musicals such as The Sound of Music, King and I, Joseph and His Coat of Many Colors, Honk and The Lion King at the school level with great success. He heads a band singing and playing lead guitar that plays gigs in clubs in Chennai, Kochi, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Uti, and Coimbatore. He is the conductor of the Nilgiri Chor uh, Choral Society and the Nilgiri String Ensemble that comprises about 45 members from different walks of life. The repertoire include, includes a presentation of classical, secular, and sacred music. Mr. Ivan Enos played the double bass for the Bombay Chamber Orchestra at the National Center for Performing Arts, Mumbai, and for the All India Youth Orchestra at Kolkata, Bangalore, and Delhi, accompanying the Vienna University Choir in March of 2013. He also played the double bass as a part of the string ensemble for Mastero A.R. Rahman at the Varodra Fest on January 26, 2015. His passion is teaching and performing, and the accomplishment he apprises the most is the ability to bring the gift of music into the lives of the children he teaches. Our next judge, Mr. Fabian Rosario, has done his grades in violin with ABRSM. He has had the experience of teaching music for the past 20 years all around Uti. He has worked as a music teacher in Riverside School, St. Jude's, and at present is working with St. Hilda's Girls and Boys and Laid Lorchetti. Owning a music school in Uti, Messiah School of Music, and performing in Nilgri String Ensemble. He plays violin, guitar, keyboard, and mandolin. The next judge, Don Bosco, has completed his grades in violin and theory of music with the Associated Royal Schools of Music London and is, a, and is certified in group teaching methodology at the Royal College of Music, Sweden. He has had 25 years of experience in teaching and performing music and is a teacher at the Academy of Fine Arts associated with the Royal College of Music Sweden at Coimbatore and Bangalore from 2003 to 2010. Serb is also a violinist at India National Youth Orchestra from 2011 to 2020 and a violinist at 181 Orchestra and Nilgiri String Ensemble. He teaches at renowned schools in Nilgiris and plays concerts and music of all styles. Sir also takes online classes for students in the US and UK. Lastly, Sir aims to perform all styles of music and wants to motivate and educate others to excel in the world of music. We would like all of you to accept a bouquet on behalf of the GSI's family as a token of our affection.
Now, we shall have the criteria presented with which the judges are going to judge the symphony competition. Firstly, rhythm and tempo. Secondly, dynamics and articulation. Thirdly, communication and interpretation. Quad then, coordination and technical control of instruments. Finally, stage presence. Ladies and gentlemen, let us begin this musical evening with our very first house. Put your hands together for Spring House performing the theme song of Jurassic Park. It has been composed by John Williams and is a widely recognized melody, often associated with the Jurassic Park movies. It's performed by a large ensemble of musicians using instruments like violins, trumpets, and drums, creating a grand and adventurous atmosphere. In the Spring House, where resources were limited, they took a different approach to music making, using keyboards to generate sounds resembling different instruments, such as strings, winds, brass, and percussion. This allowed them to maintain a diverse range of sounds in their music, despite not having access to, tradi to traditional instruments, showcasing their adaptability and creativity. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the Spring House. Thank you, Springhouse, for taking us on that beautiful journey through the Jurassic era. The piece was conducted by Mr. Christopher Paul Philander. The Wild West, dynamite, cowboys, runaway trains, and Mexican standoffs. This dramatic instrumental, composed by Ennio Morricone, soundtracks a pivotal scene in Sergio Leone's The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly when Tuco, Ellie Wallach, frantically searches for hidden gold in a cemetery while dodging cannon fire from fellow outlaw Blondie, Clint Eastwood. The song mirrors Tuco's emotions, starting gently and swelling with intensity as he nears the grave that supposedly holds the treasure. We have Autumn House performing this sus suspenseful, yet encouraging piece of music. Over the last 50 years, the song has become something of a classic, 
used on various occasions for its stirring, rising tempo and triumphant and uplifting energy from Metallica concerts and sporting events to mainstream TV advertising. The Ecstasy of Gold is among Morricone's most famous compositions, and its performance is aided by the amazing voice of Edda Del Orso, who is featured in the song's stirring vocal high notes. Thank you, Autumn House, for that ecstatic performance. 
The piece was conducted by Mr. Joseph Ray Tolentino. Next up, the house as bright as the sun would be performing The Lion Sleeps Tonight, which was composed and recorded in the 1930s by the South African singer Solomon Linda. However, it, ga it gained renewed popularity when it was featured in the movie The Lion King. In the orchestral arrangement presented by the Summer House, the music is based on three chords, and you'll notice three distinct rhythmic patterns re repeated by various instrumental groups. The piece begins with a repeating bass line, aiming to evoke nostalgic memories of the animated movie, The Lion King. We aim to highlight all the instruments the students are learning in the summer house, including strings, winds, brass, and percussion instruments, in no particular order. Thank you, Summer House, for that funky and incredibly creative composition. The piece was conducted by Mr. Cr Christopher Paul Philander. How many of the people here have watched a Marvel movie, specifically the series Loki? Well, this next group of performers will be quite marvelous. Composed by Natalie Holt, a multi-award winning British composer who trained at the Royal Academy of Music in London and the National Film and Television School. Loki continues the journey of a fairly complex anti-hero for Marvel's cinematic universe. 
Previous films featured him in a place of power and royalty as a sometimes villain. In Loki, he is no longer the unique or powerful god of mischief, stripped of his agency and a complete fish out of the water in the TVA. He uses time travel to pluck himself directly out of the film's trajectories. An amazingly well-produced piece and clockwork coordination have been brought to you, Loki, by Winterhouse. Thank you, Winterhouse, for that awe-inspiring performance. The piece was conducted by Mr. Joseph Ray Tolentino. Ladies and gentlemen, be prepared for a musical journey across Indian cultures. The Indian Music Choir is set to embark on a captivating voyage through two enchanting musical realms, each resonating with stories of human experience and exploration. The performance commences with the timeless classic, Tere Bina, from the blockbuster movie, Guru. This masterpiece, composed by the iconic A.R. Rahman, and enriched by the lyrical prowess of Gulzar, 
transport, transports us into a realm of profound emotions and introspection. Following this, a choir delves into the vibrant soundscape of Gujarati folk music, Khalasi, performed in Coke Studio Bharat, composed by Achint Thakkar, with lyrics by Soumya Joshi. The song narrates the adventurous tale of an intrepid sailor navigating the shores of Gujarat. Through the passionate rendition, our choir endeavors to bridge the gap between cultures, celebrating the universal language of music that unites us all. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the Indian Music Choir. Parents, you can put your hands together for the Indian Music Choir. You can clap along while they sing.
Thank you to the Indian Music Choir for that tearfully nostalgic performance. The pieces were conducted by Mr. Vishnu Chandran.